gals and gents, I am back today showing you guys my empties. I've basically been collecting products that I've used up for the past month and I want to show you guys the different products that I've used up and when I think about each one so it's like mini reviews of each product it's got skincare makeup all different types of things so I hope you guys will enjoy this video and if you entered my last giveaway on my haul plus giveaway video I have picked a winner and I just contacted her so for those of you who have been wondering I've contacted the winner already so if you didn't get a message that means you didn't win but I've definitely got more giveaways coming for you guys and a lot of you guys requested for me to curl this hair this is still the Queenie's Row virgin hair the Malaysian wavy hair and I curled it today I absolutely love this hair curled when it's like colored like this ombre like this I think it's absolutely gorgeous and it's looking more brown today in the camera but it's it's more blondish you can see the blonde on the bottom kind of but I absolutely love this hair curled with the ombre I think it looks so cute and if you guys want to know how I curled my hair definitely click here I will have the tutorial on how I curled my hair like this it's not this exact tutorial but this is the same method that I use to curl my hair today so we're gonna go ahead and get into the video I miss you guys so much I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and if I don't catch you guys before the new year I hope you guys all have a happy new year I love you guys I appreciate Appreciate you guys riding with me for three and a half years now you guys freaking rock I love y'all okay let me stop talking and let's get into the products okay. so the first product I want to talk about are these yes to cucumber makeup wipes and I went through two of these I absolutely love these these are some of my favorite makeup wipes they definitely take up all your makeup but without irritating your skin and I don't have like a thick like oily residue on my skin after using these which is what I like my skin just feels really fresh and clean so if you're on the hunt for new makeup wipes definitely try these out I give these thumbs up next I want to talk about the philosophy purity made simple one-step facial cleanser and this is supposed to be a cleanser a toner and one and it's supposed to really deep clean your pores it's supposed to remove all your makeup but Although I used up this bottle, I used it up because it's quite expensive and I'm like, I'm not letting this go to waste, but this is not one of my favorite cleansers. And actually, when I use this cleanser now, I notice that I get breakouts. So this, mm, not one of my favorite cleansers. If you like it, then that's good for you, but I just didn't have a good experience with it. When I first started using it, it was good, but now not so much. Next, I want to talk about my DDF Brightening Cleanser, and I love this. I've raved about this in some of my favorite videos, and this is an awesome cleanser. It has licorice in it, and also has um, alpha hydroxy acid, and this really helps with dark spots on your skin, and it also has, I believe, yes, yeah, salicylic acid in it, which also helps with active breakouts. So this is really good if you have acne prone skin, or if you have discoloration on your skin due to acne scarring. Love this cleanser. A lot of people do not like the smell of it. I don't mind it. It smells like licorice, but this is a really good cleanser. And also, if you have sensitive skin, you might it might burn your skin a little bit because it has glycolic acid in it. But overall, I love this. I need to get another one. This was the, what ounce? 4.5 fluid ounce bottle, so I'm going to go ahead and purchase the big one. The next product I'm going to talk about is the L'Oreal Clean Artiste Eye Makeup Remover, and this is for waterproof and long-wearing makeup, and this one has the dual, like, separation. It has, like, a liquid side and then it has like an oilier side so it does have oil in it it's not oil free they do have an oil free formula but I really like this one it's really good for removing eye makeup but I purchased a new one of these and it was really hard to get the top open like I cannot get the top off of this if you guys have purchased a new one was it hard for you to get the top off because I still haven't been able to get through the top 
of the new one that I purchased and I think I got it like two or three weeks ago so yeah the top is not very good I don't like it Next, I want to talk about the Revlon Precision Lash Adhesive Glue, and if you can see the top, it's absolutely disgusting, but I use this bad boy up. I use the Revlon glue every time I do my false lashes. Today, I use the dark adhesive one. I love this. I recommend this to anyone. I cannot use duo adhesive because it causes my eyes to itch really bad because it does have latex in it. I'm not allergic to latex, but... I don't know why this will why the duo adhesive makes my eyes itch but this one I haven't found anyone that has an allergic reaction to this and I find that it gets tacky really quickly and it just makes my lashes stay on all day I never have to retouch and neither one of the sides lifts when I'm out which I love so definitely give this a try it's inexpensive and I love Next it I want to talk about the Dickinson original witch hazel toner and I went through a whole bottle of this I love this product in my opinion it has really helped my skin to clear up it has helped to clean out my pores when you wear makeup your pores can get clogged very easily and this product definitely helps with that I recommend it this is the toner that I use all the time I'm on my second bottle right now and I love this stuff another product I used up is the Mac prep and prime and this is just the priming mascara it's a white mascara that you use before you use your actual mascara basically it coats your lashes before mascara and it also helps to lengthen and volumize your lashes before you apply your regular mascara so I love it it's one of my favorite primers there's also a Lancome one that I like and a Dior one that I like but this is the least inexpensive and there's also an elf one it's not as good as the higher grade ones but you can get away with using that as well this one I'm so sad about it's the Maybelline define a brow in dark brown I'm super sad that I used up my last one of these because as you guys know they discontinued it let's start a petition because I am sick and tired of companies stopping products that are great like why would you discontinue this I know so many people who use this why would you do that and then this other product that they came out with this Maybelline Master Shapes Eye Studio it sucks Maybelline bring this back because this product absolutely ugh, it sucks yeah. I have two other eyebrow products to show you guys because I do my eyebrows all the time so these are products that I run through all the time this is the Milani easy retractable um, eyebrow pencil and I went through this one this is one is in dark brown you don't have to sharpen it it's retractable and it also has a spoolie on the other side this is also a good one I prefer the Maybelline define a brow but since that's discontinued this shall suffice. I mean, I used the whole thing up. And I also completely used up this Wet n Wild Dark Brown Eyebrow Pencil. And this is the eyebrow pencil I'm supposed to use for an eyebrow tutorial. But I ran out and I can't find it anywhere. So as soon as I find another one of these, I'll do the eyebrow tutorial so you guys can see. Because I know you guys have been asking me over and over, like, when are you going to post it? I just got to find another one of these. I love this pencil. It's only like a dollar or $1.99. You freaking can't beat that. So I love it. Another product is this L'Oreal Linear Intense Carbon Black Liquid Eyeliner. It's got a felt tip on it. So it's really easy to line your eyes with this. What I don't like is it seems to dry out quite quickly. When you first get it, it's really dark. It really has a satin kind of look to it. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like patent leather look. It's really shiny and I love it, but it kind of fades away after like two or three weeks. So yeah, it doesn't last that long, but it's good when you first get it. Another product I used up is the Garnier Skin Renew Radiant Moisture Cream. And I still have a little bit of this left. I figured I would include it in here because pretty much all of it is gone. There's just a little bit on the side. And this is really good during the winter time because it really adds moisture to the skin. It's a cream, so it's thick. I also have their gel, which I use during more so summer months. But if you're on the hunt for an inexpensive 
moisturizer this one is a good one I didn't have any bad reactions with my skin my skin felt moisturized it felt like I was applying water on my skin but not applying water does that make any sense probably not <laughs> All right, the last product I'm gonna talk about is this Amore Pacific Moisture Bound Refreshing Hydrogel. And this is a moisturizer as well. I love moisturizer. I go through moisturizer like crazy. This is just a sample of this. I got this in one of those monthly subscription websites. I forget what the name of it. I'll have it down below. But this is really expensive at Sephora. I think a container of this, and it's obviously not this size, it's the normal size, is like 100 or 120 bucks. So, ah, uh, it was a really good product. I really enjoyed it. But $120? I don't know if I'm going to buy the full size or not, you guys. If you've tried this out and you bought the full size of it, let me know if you really feel like it's worth it, if you saw an improvement in your skin or not, because I really love it. I love how it moisturizes my skin, but I don't think I'm ready to spend that 120 just for a moisturizer. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my little empties video and this is the first time I've done this. I've just been collecting products that I've used up within the last month. If you guys want me to continue to do videos like this, let me know. Definitely thumbs up this video. It's just like mini reviews of products that I've completely used up. I feel like once you've completely used a product up, you can really give an in-depth review on it. So if you guys enjoy this video, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Thumbs up this video, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.